I just got done doing the GX SR wastegate conversion from the vacuum actuator to a pressurized actuator. So basically, this line to the intake that controls the wastegate takes the place of this whole rat's nest of vacuum actuators. What I did first is I basically just kept all this intact. A lot of people cut it off here or block it off right here, but I, I kept it intact and ran the line all the way around. Then I bypassed this connector right here that goes into all the rat's nest. So basically this line just stays in line and goes all the way around to the vacuum reservoir and then back around to what they call in the forums the blue flying saucer. It comes back around I just kept it tied in. So basically all I did was bypass it right here of all this vacuum stuff. The conversion was real easy. Uh, basically you just order the wastegate from I think it's APT, ATP, whatever. And I ordered the sip, the nipple from Summit that is the same size as the nipple on the actuator. And I just tapped in right here so I could take it off and didn't get the shavings down in the turbo. I'd already taken the whole intake off and got it put through a machine to clean it all out. But this conversion is really made a huge difference on the car. I was doing 0 to 60 in 24 seconds and I was trying to figure out which actuator where the where the leak in the lines was and I was just like man you know this 26 year old actuate all these plastic parts you know I'm just gonna this is a genius thing that GXSR came up with I really appreciate it but I got I got all the part numbers here and stuff <laughs> On the actuator, because they're different, if you you got to read the forum on Peach Auto about how to do it, but they say to cut the rod down and then retap threads into there, into right here, because the new actuator that you order, the part number, let's see if you see it. Come on. Anyways, it says 43489-12, special actuator from ATP Turbo. And then I also got some M6 by one nuts with a lock little lock washer. As you can see right there. And I, this isn't tightened down, but I tightened down all the way. And instead of cutting the rod down, you can actually just put it in like that and it compensates for the space. Then I just adjusted the, it has an adjustment on the new pressurized actuator that I adjusted till it just got tight where it's fully closed or open, whatever. I don't know. I'm no expert. I don't know anything about this. I was a complete novice, but followed all the forums description. But this is the problem I had is when I figured out the bypass, people were wanting to cut it off right here and then cut it off right there and just keep all this running in line with two closed ends what I ended up doing is just I ran it all the way through here back around through the vacuum regulator because I don't know what what that does really so I wanted to keep it in line I guess it's some kind of pressure keeping device uh, and it went all the way back to the blue flying saucer that runs through all the all the stuff but anyways uh, when I ordered this stuff from ATP Turbo, I also got 10 feet of this 1 8 hose because uh, it's always good to have some good stuff. This is kind of like a silicone hose. But, uh, anyways, I went through. The car is running awesome. I can't believe the difference. You know, uh, not doing this conversion is like eating McDo McDonald's hamburgers compared to filet mignon. It's just a no-brainer.
I mean, I can't, I can't understand. Oh, by the way, um, the EGR is no longer in effect. It's deleted automatically from what I read. It's, I mean, it's it stays uh, closed or open, so it's it's just it it doesn't work anymore. So now I don't have all that soot coming in. That's the main reason I wanted to do this conversion in the first place. I was reading how to delete the EGR and I found this forum. So, I mean, the car is unreal. Zero to 60 in 12.5 seconds compared to 24 seconds. Once I clean the intake, I got it down to 22 seconds, but this is just, it's amazing. And uh, thanks for everybody on the forum. GXSR. Sheratex, I think his name was, Chris, um, Sixto, anyone else I left out, uh, thanks for helping me, a novice and putting up with my, uh, all the stuff I didn't know terms and stuff, I really appreciate it, and this is a great, great thread that y'all created, so thanks a lot.